Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card all about an exciting blessing that's coming to you next. So this is going to be about career, love, anything that kind of wants to come out, we'll let it come out naturally. So please choose your group now. I am going to put some crystal cards on the groups as well, but we have group number one, two, three and four. So let's put the crystal cards on now. So we have group number one, group two, group three, and group four, so please choose your group. If you guys would like extra time, please pause the video. All the timestamps will be down below in the description box and in the comment section down below. So let's get started with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So for you guys, the first card out we have is Citrine. So Citrine is really, really good for financial abundance. It's really good at helping you create your finances and to help bring in more money and things like that on a more material basis. So it says when it's time to really get on your grind and start creating the tomorrow of your dreams today, manifest your masterpiece. So this is absolutely beautiful. So this energy is very much about kind of connecting to your heart chakra and your solar plexus and really bring in that really nice amount of money. So if you guys work and money is going to be really good for you guys and that's going to be the main blessing that's going to come in for you guys. But obviously we'll have a look at the other cards and see what else we have. So we also have environmental awareness. We have snail's pace, slow down, grounding, listen to the heartbeat of the earth, the subtle energies. And we also have spider, dreamweaver, number 22, which is this one. Tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? So for you guys, there's definitely an energy of slowing down and really kind of being in the moment, being very present, being very grounded. That's what's going to really help you in this situation. So also what I'm feeling is that just grounding yourself will really help bring in that energy. So if there's anything you kind of want to bring in, say if it's a job interview, whether it's kind of a new job, whether it's more kind of abundance and happiness in your life in general, you have the ability to weave this and to create this because we have tuned to the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? So there's definitely an, an energy of, do you want to bring the healing in toward yourself or do you want to bring it out to other people? And for you guys, I think where you've been working quite a lot or you've been really overthinking, I think it's time for you to kind of give the energy back to yourself and really listen to the earth and really kind of come into a more grounded place because when we do get kind of wrapped up in finances and lack it can be very very stressful and sometimes it, it literally is a divine timing thing so we do have environmental awareness so something around your environment could be changing it could be that you're wanting to move house it could be that you're maybe need to be in your garden more if you have a garden it could also also be you kind of need to connect more with the earth and more in your environment and kind of be more aware of the environment that you're living in so possibly if it's a bit messy or if it needs a kind of a clearing up or maybe some saging or kind of like getting the incense and kind of like you know cleansing your energy cleansing your space that will really really help and kind of smudging your aura that will really help as well so for you guys there's definitely energy of like changing things up and this is going to help energy to move. So maybe if there's a little bit of stuck energy around your finances or kind of financial gain or material gain, then even if it's even if there's no kind of stress around it, it's just kind of going to get going to get the energy kind of moving. Sorry about my speech, guys. If my speech is all over the place, I do not know what's going on. It's astrological, I think. I, I generally don't know. <laughs> it's like weird going on with my speech today. So for you guys, you might be struggling with speech as well. You might be struggling with kind of talking about how you feel or just any sort of things you're feeling. It could be hard to express them. So make sure when you do talk to somebody, then really kind of ground yourself and be in the moment and speak to that person as well as you can and really try to express how you're feeling. And I'm getting a lot of energy in my hands. That's very strange. My hands are like buzzing really, really badly. So I feel like for you, some of you guys, there's definitely an energy of like things holding in your body. So for you guys, really try to do everything you can to make this energy move through smoother. So maybe do some Tai Chi, maybe do some dancing, some running, yoga, all those things to help this energy shift. Okay. So let's see what else is coming in for you. I'm going to pull some astrology cards and we're going to see what else wants to come through. So we're going to do this astrology dice first. All right, so we have the eighth house, we have Mars and we have Scorpio. Wow, very intense. So literally the eighth house is Scorpio. The eighth house is very much about your, it's about merging, it's about finances, it's about your partner's resources and goals and things like that and things that possibly you can't see. So this is basically, there's a lot of like energy around Mars. So 
Mars here is ruled by Aries and Scorpio and we do have some sort of astrological stuff going on around Mar uh, Mars at the moment with Aries and things like that so obviously this is a general reading this is a timeless reading so just whenever you see this um, maybe the energies will still be present with you anyway or you may be a Scorpio or Aries who's kind of going for a really intense time right now but I do feel like it's some sort of change within your masculinity your, your masculine side whether you're a female or a male does not matter genderless it's everyone has a masculine energy and I feel like for you guys you are struggling to kind of express that it could be a lack of kind of motivation it could be a lack of creativity what is kind of getting you to do is to look deeper and see what's kind of going on and the blessings will come out when you can learn to express and learn to shift this energy so as I say it could be physically moving your body it could be singing it could be talking to somebody just as long as you're shifting the energy that's what's really going to help you guys okay so let's see it could be with the Scorpio energy you could be attracting in a Scorpio it could also mean that you guys are changing up the way you speak and you speak and your emotions as well and you're getting a deeper perspective on how things are working out in your life and learning to just allow things to happen so we also have the 11th house, so you could be changing up the way you interact with your community. You could be manifesting a new community into your life. You could also be manifesting a Scorpio, or you could be a Scorpio. And we also have Neptune here of dreams. So you guys could be getting some very intense dreams. You could be having quite... I'm hearing the word prolific, which I hope is not too bad of a word. Um, and we also have 444 on the clock right now, so that's amazing. So I feel like for you guys, it's really embracing this part of you that doesn't want to be seen. And I think it's also kind of almost like a taboo part of you. So I really feel like for you guys, there's definitely something around a part of you that is needing to come out, okay? And it might be a part of you that you don't like, um, but it could just be that this could be the en the entrance to your blessings basically so the next blessing also you guys could be manifesting a group of friends a kind of community that you really get along with and also neptune dreams is all about things that are very intense but also very emotional almost like scorpio you know so neptune is ruled by pisces so this is very much about the imagination it's karma it's kind of things that we can't see so you guys are definitely going through some sort of cycle and if you are feeling a little bit stuck like this will change and it's just letting things allow to come because I do feel like this is a cycle you guys are going through. So once this cycle has ended, you're going to start to gain much more momentum. And you could also be getting your own business as well. And it could be a business that you start with friends and that could be your community, you know, so it could be that as well. So let's get some tarot and let's see what wants to come through for you guys. Okay. Okie dokie, let's have a look and see. All right, we have the Emperor and we have the Hierophant, so really big energy, it says power and tradition. So for you guys, you're wanting to kind of come out of this old tradition, I feel. I feel like there's a part of you that wants to break free from that. There's definitely an energy of like, I have my own views and I want you to hear them. So it could be almost you guys want to move out of your a uh, family home you could be kind of coming away from family now we need to have, kind of have your own space there's definitely an energy of like things kind of changing around and intensities like things kind of intensifying so in terms of your blessings i feel like they will come after you've gone through this sort of situation and with this energy we also have the moon underneath which is fear so there's definitely energy around moving forward or changing up how you feel about somebody or something and it could be really causing a lot of anxiety within you oh we have another card <laughs> the builder okay wow okay so this is a lot of cards i love this so the fact that we have generosity right at the end is showing me you guys all you need to do is give love to yourself to help this blessing to come in there's definitely a need to no longer sacrifice or be obsessive around a certain situation so if you start to feel kind of anxious around something learn to pull back from it and know that that's not too important and that you can really focus on yourself that's going to be the most important thing is focusing and coming back to yourself and i'm getting quite bad ankle pain as i'm reading these cards so for you guys you might be getting ankle pain joint pain and just know that it might be a kind of ascension symptom so we also have power here as well so there's definitely an energy of like things 
really shifting around power and needing to no longer have control and not have to control every single thing that is going on in your life, which I know is hard. I know it's hard, guys. But you guys are definitely building something and there's definitely some openings that are going to happen and some open doors and some open windows, I'm hearing. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you would like to check out my crystal shop, that is also down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So the first card we have out is Celestite. And I love Celestite. It's such a gorgeous crystal. It's so gentle and pure and just really kind of makes you feel very, very relaxed. So Celestite, very beautiful crystal. So it says when it's time to stop and really listen. With Celestite as your guide, you may be surprised what you hear. Tune in with serenity. So if you guys, it's kind of coming into this very calming energy and learn to relax in the moment and that's going to bring in more of your blessings. So let's see what other cards we have. So we have kindness, we have problem resolved. Let's see what else we have. Light, the darkness, ancestors, ancestral line, generational shift and new pathways. Beautiful. So if you guys, you could have been going through quite an intense time, there's definitely energy of bringing in kindness and problems that you feel like you've had for quite a long time or karmic cycles, things like that. There's definitely an end to them now and they are definitely being resolved, okay? You might be getting some ideas, some creative ideas to start with your work or kind of a project and you're gonna start bringing these in and they're gonna be very, very creative. I feel like the more you're in your creative energy and your creative juices, the more you're going to kind of open doors for yourself, whether it's like pitching an idea to like a client or pitching an idea to a group of people at work or whether it's kind of starting your own business or doing a hobby that you really enjoy. There's definitely letting yourself feel things and letting yourself be open to ideas and not restrict yourself when they come in, especially if you feel like they're not important. No, you know, that's the most important time to do it and really let yourself feel free. So for you guys, you could have been going through quite an intense time, quite an uncomfortable time. And you, some of you guys may need to consider whether you're happy on your current path you're on right now. Um, but for a lot of you guys, if you are definitely kind of moving forward, um, there's definitely a coming out of the darkness. So for you guys, you may have had to be in this darkness for quite a while just to kind of realize things. But there's definitely an energy of like calmness and then there's gonna be massive amounts of abundance coming in for you guys. So let's have a look specifically about what sort of abundance is coming in. There's also an energy around being kind to yourself as well. A really big energy around bringing in that love and opening your heart chakra so you don't feel so intense and overwhelmed and confused, okay? So let's see, oops, that was quick. Wow, okay, so we have fifth house of passion. We have Pluto transformation, which is amazing. Wow, you guys are really transforming your life. It's definitely an energy of like using creativity to move through this transformation. And I think as well, as you let yourself be more creative, you're allowing much more abundance to come in because you're letting yourself be free. I feel like a lot of you guys are being very aware of your body as well. You're being aware of what you're giving to your body, what you're taking in, and also how you're speaking to yourself. And I think there's going to be a lot of new offers coming in. Let's see. Let's get one more card. Okay. So it could be um, a message from a Cancerian that you could be manifesting. It could be a connection with a Cancerian. But also it could be that you guys are speaking more with love to yourself and that's actually bringing in more blessings because you're you're raising up to a higher vibration and your ego isn't getting in the way um and so we also have the fourth house so around your house it could be changing you could be moving house you could be organizing your house something like that there's something around kind of shifting up time i'm hearing shifting up time frame so this is very much about you moving onto a new stage so some of you guys could literally be moving house or camping i'm hearing you guys might be going guys might be going camping Okay, so we have Cancer twice. We have the first house, we have Cancer, and we also have Saturn, which is great. So Saturn is a really big changing planet. So I feel like for you, because we have the first house, this is very much about you and yourself and how you have been really interacting with your life and how you've been really bringing things in. So with the first house, as I say, it's all about the self, it's all about what we're bringing out. So the fact, some of you guys might even have cancer in your first house, you might even have Saturn in your first house, but with this Cancerian energy, it's very much about you embracing all these emotions and the more you're doing that, the more you're like taking them on and feeling them and really acknowledging them that they're there, it's letting yourself be free and giving yourself more opportunity. So if you guys, you may get some sort of artistic opportunity, there might be an opportunity for you to kind of expand your artistic abilities. Um, it could also be you might guys might get a job in like graphic design or something. But also I'm seeing for you guys, there's definitely 
um, more love coming in. So for you guys who are single or who are kind of struggling in relationships in general, like family or friends, I do feel like the more you're honoring yourself and your boundaries, the more you're going to manifest more easier flowing relationships that are so much more easier to deal with. And there's definitely a transformational period within your relationships and the way you're speaking in them. So with the opportunity, it feels like there's some sort of creation that's like kind of cracking open and you're able to really speak clearly about how you feel about things and no longer kind of shoving them down because you think they're not important. And also for you guys with the fifth house, this is also about relationships and romance and childlike energy and dating. So for you guys, you may have some massive transformation around your dating life and things may massively change. You may also be getting dreams about dating. You may be dreaming about going on dates and speaking to new people, something like that. I'm also hearing the word translation. So you may be um, kind of learning a new language, translating something, and that's going to be part of your new blessing as well. So let's get some tarot and let's clarify all of these cards here. Okay, let's get, oops, let's get you some tarot. Okay. Okay, wow, you guys got a lot of energy. Brand new start for you guys, massive amount of new karma coming in. New karma is good, by the way, it's kind of like a new start for yourself. And it could be a new start in work. Because for some of you guys, you have felt disappointed in the past. You have felt like you can't be in the right job for yourself. You can't manifest the right things for you. And there's definitely an energy of kind of control. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may be forced kind of into some sort of family business. And there's definitely an energy of like, I don't want to do that. And I think speaking your truth around that will really help. Because there's something you guys I'm hearing with tradition, it kind of reminds me of religion as well. Some of you guys, you may be coming out of a religion that you'd feel like you no longer associate with and things like that. So we also have the defeat card. So for some of you guys with the five, this is the five of wings. So this is very much about you realizing your real potential and how much you have to give to this world and really putting your foot down with people who aren't treating you right as well. So yeah, there's definitely some sort of energy of like really perking yourself up and really embracing that sacral chakra energy and really pushing yourself forward to something new. And it could be a new job, but I feel like for some of you guys, there's definitely a lot of energy around changing up your relationships and having a much better connection with your relationships and a much healthier connection. Feeling like you can really speak your truth and be very vulnerable, but also really mature and adult and very confident. And for some of you guys, you have had some sort of disappointment in work, but I feel like if you have, and you're trying to move out of that, I feel like if you guys are possibly unemployed or you're scared about not getting the right job for you, just realize that you have the power in you to create this and you will manifest that. And I do see one of those manifestations being work for you guys, really manifesting some beautiful colleagues and things that will like things like that, just new energies, new relationships and new kind of connections around work will be really, really good for you. Like you're going to be kind of exploring your work with more people around you. So you're going to be manifesting new colleagues who really get you and you're going to then in turn have much more energy in your life and you're going to feel like when you wake up in the morning you're going to feel much more energized, much more happy but also just focusing on your energy and how to really co cope with kind of these energies right now because there's a lot of intense energies astrologically. So for you guys what's really important is just taking care of yourself and doing whatever you need to do to get that energy whether it's like dancing or napping or you know whatever you need to do to get your energy back because remember you guys don't overwork yourself because that's going to make everything feel a lot more heavier okay so just be aware to pull back if you need to and don't be afraid to go into hermit mode if that's something you need to do so thank you so much for watching guys if you would like a private reading all my information is down below if you want to check out my crystal shop also down below thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading let's see what's going on for you guys for your exciting blessing that's coming towards you so we have kyanite. So kyanite is very much to do with the throat chakra. It's very much about your crown as well. It's kind of like deepening your perspective on things. So for you guys, it says when you find yourself drowned out by that mental noise, even the greatest thinkers need to be reminded thoughts are thoughts. Reality is reality. You can deal with it in a... You can... Okay, what? <laughs> you can deal with it like an anxious chihuahua. <laughs> And it says, or you can get down with kyanite and align to the moment with your calm and cool intact. 
So for you guys, you may be feeling quite heavy with your mind. Things may be feeling quite overwhelming and just very anxious. So for you guys, it's really coming back to the moment and realizing this is just, this is kind of just your human experience. You know, we are spiritual beings having a human experience and things will change around for you, okay? So let's have a look at your other cards. Oh, we have another crystal card here. So we have fluorite. So this is very much to do with the heart chakra. When you want to take an uninterrupted 20 minutes to meditate, an hour to finish a book, or a lifetime to concentrate on your unique calling here on earth, sharpen your focus. So who needs it? The per perpetually distracted, anyone with a vision worth sticking to. So some of you guys, you could be starting to get distracted by things, and maybe you keep coming off your path and veering off and thinking, oh, I'll just do that later, oh, I'll meditate later, you know. What's really important for you guys is to meditate. Okay, meditate, to relax, to give yourself five minutes to calm down and chill your your awareness and kind of come into the moment. Because with the adrenaline that kind of comes in, if you've got too much adrenaline going on, you're not gonna be able to focus on the moment and you're not gonna be able to kind of manifest the things that you want because you're too much in your head and you're not focused here and being grounded. Yeah, you guys really need to take care of yourself and focus on things that really make you feel good. That's gonna help you bring in your blessings. All right, so we have family harmony, kick up your heels, and we also have her special place. It says, find your own safe, sp safe place inside and out. So this is very much to do with you guys having fun and doing things that don't have to have some sort of reason. So a lot of the time we do things for a reason and sometimes it's nice to not do things for a reason. Sometimes it's nice to just put on makeup if we're not going out anywhere or having a bath instead of a shower, you know, like doing those little things that make you feel like you have more choice in your life. And this is also going to bring in more blessings. And I feel like for you guys, another blessing is you're going to start to have more heart fat family harmony you're going to start to feel more harmonious within your family and you're going to start to feel like you can really draw in the energy of just connecting to others without having any sort of agenda or you just feel like you're able to be on a much more yin yang balanced kind of basis with your with your family it's also could be meaning that you guys could be manifesting a baby or a child coming in obviously this will be a planned pregnancy so if you guys are wanting to manifest that i do see that coming in um obviously take it as it resonates we have kick up your heels as well it's definitely an energy of kind of coming into a much more lighter place and not taking things too seriously because a lot of the time we can definitely take things too seriously and what's going to help bring in more of your blessings is to find your own safe space focus on your body focus on your breath and really focus on what makes you feel good in the moment do you need to kind of do something intricate do you need to do some drawing maybe some writing maybe some journaling or singing you know maybe you just need to go for a run or go for a walk outside and sometimes we forget that sometimes all we need to do is just go outside and just take a nature walk because a lot of the time is when we're in our house, it can be, get very, very intense and our mind can just go at like 20 miles an hour. So when we do come back to the moment and we do take care of ourselves, that's when more manifestations come in because we're able to be very present and be very aware of the things that we do want and the things that we do need in that moment. But yeah, for you guys, it could be just talking to a friend, having a FaceTime, it could be meeting up with friends, going and have a drink, something like that. Just letting your, allowing yourself to have more fun, I feel. And even if you guys don't have possibly any kind of groups or any sort of tribes around you that you feel you can really connect to, there will be people online that you can connect to as well, guys. But also, if you just need to call up a friend or talk to a family member, just do that, you know. Or you could just do some journaling by yourself, you know. Having time alone you don't isn't selfish. Having time alone is very, very good for your, your mental health. And it helps you realise what you need in that moment, Okay. So let's have a look at your astrology and we'll see what astro cards and dice want to come out. All right, so we have the third house, we have Aquarius and we have the sun. So the sun in Aquarius, you could also have Aquarius in your third house. So the third house is all about the mind, thinking, communication, that makes so much sense. I definitely feel like there's a lot of mind energy and Aquarius is a very vocal. So this is all about you coming into your own pathway and there's going to be a lot of abundance within your communication so you may be manifesting Aquarius in your life you may be coming into more social interactions and activities with people you may be manifesting some new friendships but also it's with the sun in Aquarius Aquarius is a very confident and independent so you guys are being more independent with your lifestyle and also you're going to be manifesting people who are also independent and really creating this gorgeous interdependency in your relationships okay beautiful first house that's what I'm pretty sure group number two had as well 
so for you guys it's very much about yourself they, they say keep coming back to yourself keep coming back to yourself and you could be meeting an Aries or you could be an Aries or an Aquarius or both you know you could have like Aquarius sun Aries moon or the other way around um <clears throat> excuse me it's definitely something about your self-image and the way you see yourself you're becoming much more powerful and you're now realizing what it is that you want but I definitely feel like for some of you guys because you're coming into a much more more comfortable place within yourself you could be manifesting any of these types of people or you just are taking on these energies and becoming much more confident and much more proud and very very creative as well for you guys life may be a little bit complicated right now or feeling a little bit complex but for you guys the best thing for you to do is just to come down to what it is that you need right now that's going to be the most important thing so you can really kind of simplify things because you are definitely on the right road, okay? You are definitely on the right road to your destiny. You are on the right road to attracting the abundance that you want. And we also have conjunction empowerment underneath the deck. So definitely energy of like bringing this empowerment, this Mars energy, being really kind of fulfilled as well and finding your purpose. And your purpose can be various different things. Your purpose can change all the way through your life. So these could be all your different purposes. It could be like something to be like a leader and the next purpose in your life could be more to be an individual and the next purpose in your life could be more creative. You know, we're going to change as we get older. So it could also be that you are thinking about what you really want to do in this life and it could be now possibly you're out of education or you're out of a work that you felt like was quite restricting. You're now able to really open up and crack open what it is that you really want to explore. But I definitely feel like for some of you guys, a manifestation you're going to have is creating some sort of connection with any of these types of people as well who have Aries, Aquarius or Leo in their chart. But there's definitely something around your destiny and kind of moving towards your journey and you're focusing on what your journey is, not what anybody else's journey is. And really coming into a much brighter place with your own personality and realizing that you are a very, hearing a precious asset. So don't ever doubt yourself or know that you're not good enough because you are. And there's definitely some gorgeous things coming your way, okay? So let's see about the tarot. Let's see what wants to come through. Okay, so we have the Prince of Wings, the Messenger. Yes, 100%. I definitely think there's some messages coming in for you guys. The Leader, yep. There's going to be a lot of messages coming in for you guys because you are becoming more of a leader in your life. So you're, you've got this exuding confidence that people are really attracted to. So more people are going to start looking at you. You're going to start to get more attention in work, more attention in your life in general. And you're just really understanding what your needs are. And I feel like the best thing for you to do is sometimes if you're not sure on something, just don't do anything about it, you know? Because I feel like some of you guys are really confused on, on a choice. And it could be that you just need to take your time, okay? So with this sorrow and the privacy, it's very much about you acknowledging your privacy. And if you need to take some time out, definitely do that, okay? Yeah, it's definitely some inward energy that's going on. It's kind of like, I want to do things extroverted, extroverted, but I also want to go introverted. So just figure out what it is you want to do on that day, guys. We're not all perfect. And it doesn't mean that you are going to be the same every single day. So if something comes up and it kind of makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable just know that if you do come into your own energy and really figure out what you want in that moment there's going to be much more joy for you and you're going to be able to access the joy much more quicker okay so you guys are definitely understanding yourself much more easier you're going to start to feel like i feel like slowing down will just help you a lot i feel like slowing down will really help you come into the moment and manifest all of these gorgeous things that are coming towards you but i love the messenger here the message is really calling out to me so with the Princess of Wings, I'm pretty sure that is the Page of Swords. I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. So it's definitely about you kind of having this exuding confidence and therefore more people are going to be attracted to you, especially in love as well. Like you might get some more love messages. You might get more people just kind of wanting to, to connect with you. It could be friends as well, manifesting new friendships and things like that. But it's definitely an inner strength that you guys are working with and know that you do have enough strength to go through with this. And also, if you need some time out, just take some time out, okay? Don't overdo it. Don't strain yourself. and know that that's going to be the best thing for you. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you want to check out my crystal shop, also that is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.
Hello group number four, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So the first card we have is Sodalite. It says, when you have a big decision to make, when you're 99% finish a project but can't get your head around the last 1%, don't seriously give up. Meditate with Sodalite, abandon solution oriented thinking, surrender to your intuition and watch your problem get solved from someplace much deeper. Deepen your intuition. So for people who may need it are planners, producers, Virgos, where to put it, wherever you do your best non-thinking. So for you guys, it's really coming into a sense of meditating and you may need to just stop straining and pushing things. There's definitely an energy of like, okay, I have to get this done right now, right this second, but you don't guys. Allow yourself to have that change, okay? Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of your cards. Oh, you have another crystal card under here. Let's move that over there. So we also have rose quartz. When you feel like you always have to be the one to have it all figured out, to work the hardest, to hold it all together for everyone else. Rose Quartz gives us a pink cashmere covered platform to be soft, sweet and open to spirit. Exactly. So awakening your true self, really awakening yourself to your own energy. And there's definitely energy around becoming much more content and feeling much more lighter. I think that's what's going to happen for you guys. You're going to feel much more lighter, much more happier, and like you can really enjoy life again. We have once was innocent, knowledge means change, and we also have a unity heart. So there's definitely something around opening your heart and letting yourself be vulnerable. I feel like for some of you guys, I'm picking up on this group very heavily, that there is some sort of relationship that wants to come through. So if you guys who are single, I am picking up that on that there is some sort of relationship that wants to come through after you've kind of, you have come into this awakening of your true self and you're starting to become much more lighter. You're starting to take things on much light, much more lightly. And because you have learned a lot from your past, there's a lot of knowledge that you're giving in your uh, letting people see and you're helping people with your knowledge as well and it says unity heart you're being called to work on collective healing so this is very much about you helping other people it could be that you guys want to join a spiritual group where they do healing but also it could be that you guys are really standing in your power and you're standing up for what you believe in so if there's something you're really passionate about sending the message across you're letting people kind of hear that as well you're not just kind of holding it in for yourself as long as you obviously are doing it in the most safest way so when we have laughter here as well, this is very much about you just being your authentic self. And also some of you guys, you might be a bit insecure about your laugh or a bit insecure about your mouth. And you may have a bit of an awakening around it and feel much more happier around your laugh and kind of your smile and feeling like it's okay and not to judge yourself on that. So we also have once was innocent. So for you guys, you may have suddenly had like a sudden realization about something. And this could be the blessing. It could be that you have realized something about your life or about your family and things like that. And maybe you don't want to associate with them anymore. Or maybe you want to, you're starting to kind of put your views across where maybe you kind of shut yourself down before. So you're able to really embrace that and acknowledge who you are. And really let yourself feel and let yourself be free. And also with the butterflies, I feel like it's also just letting yourself acknowledge who you are. And if you want to wear a certain piece of clothing, listen to a certain piece of music, you know, I feel like it's definitely about embracing your honest side of you. And in your relationships as well, I think it's really important for you to just really express your honest side and be very open about what you enjoy and not to hold that back. If you want to talk about some sort of uh, singer that you like or you want to talk about a tv film you like and not to judge yourself on sharing that and be open to sharing things and that may be something small but for you guys it might be something big you know it might be something that you're very passionate about and I feel like it's just allowing your knowledge to come out so if you get an intuitive download don't push it away if you get signs don't push it away if you feel like it's accurate for you and it, it's a sign that's good for you and it's helping you then that is what you should go with and just go for it and really work with that sign and say if it's something about money and abundance is coming in then money does come in really trust that message that, that is coming in for you and trusting that everything you're doing is on the right path to where you need to go okay and really not taking things too seriously because in life we definitely can take things too seriously i think it just comes with being a human you know <laughs> okay so let's have a look at your astrology let's pull your dice first let's see what group number four needs to know all right, so we have the sun, we have the third house, and we have Aries. Beautiful. So for you guys, you are really embracing your fiery side. You're embracing your passionate side. You guys are very, very passionate people. And when you talk about something, you really talk about it. You really want to express your own opinion. And the sun is very much about a leader. You're becoming the leader in your own life. And maybe because you have this leader energy, people are becoming more attracted to you. Very similar to group number three, actually, which is great. 
So yeah, there's definitely the third house is coming through really strongly. So you guys are going to manifest more money. You're going to manifest more financial gain. And because you're able to really speak your truth, people are listening to you. And I'm hearing it's going to give you a bigger paycheck or it's going to give you more money because you're letting yourself be seen and you're not hiding yourself away. This can also be the same for relationships as well. You could be manifesting an Aries or a Leo, but also you could be kind of manifesting a brighter relationship that you feel more present in and you don't have to entertain you can feel like both of you feel very passionate with each other and really appreciate each other's presence okay so there's definitely something about balance in here so for you guys not to overdo it this also we have the first house which is the sun as well so it's definitely about you realizing what you want to do in this life and there's a part of you that just wants to express that and maybe the number 23 is significant for you guys or 32 or two or three um, but also we have Leo and Aries, so it's definitely a masculine kind of fiery energy coming in and the, the masculine energy is all about your drive, it's all about moving forward and it's all about how you assert yourself, what you're passionate about and things like that and also how you assert yourself in conversation and arguments and things like that and be trying not to be so um, snappy in a conversation and really try and ground yourself and sometimes we can get really agitated and snappy towards someone if we're stressed or our adrenaline is very high and what will help that is to just get outside get in nature or listen to some nature sounds or something like that where you can really kind of be present because that's going to help this energy come through because this energy that's around you guys is very very intense and very potent so if you guys it might almost be like a turn off towards your energy and it may cause you to be quite like intense or kind of aggressive and for you guys as I say there's definitely a lot of energy coming up towards anger and things like that so managing that anger is going to be really helpful for you so managing your anger in different ways so it could be through yoga or through dancing or just through just having a day off and not working and just chilling out and just being present in the moment and not having any responsibilities or may or or doing everything you need to do so you don't have the responsibility, so you can really get things done. But I also feel that this Aries energy is a massive motivator, it's getting things done in your life, and it's also helping you be much more organized. And number three is a very creative number. You could have the life path number three as well. It's all about learning to communicate and also learn to just be vulnerable with your speech as well. Okay, so let's get you a couple of tarot cards and let's see what wants to come in for you guys. Oops. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. I definitely feel that you guys have some sort of relationship kind towards you. Very beautiful. Very, very happy. Very exciting. Yeah. You guys are really having some amazing communication coming in. Amazing amounts of energy. And there's so much independence coming in as well. You feel like you can really be yourself because you're nurturing yourself while wow, we've got romance as well. Absolutely beautiful. So there's going to be some sort of connection that's going to really draw you in. And for those of you who are single, this is definitely for you guys. But also those of you who are in a relationship, um, it could be that you're changing up the way you, you are and you're starting to speak more. And it could actually create more arguments or tension. But then once it kind of cracks and opens and you start to realize that this is who I am and you're kind of having a spiritual awakening, you, you and your partner will then start to support each other again and feel much more um, balance within the relationship those of you who don't want a relationship I just feel like you're embracing your love side you're you're exploring things that you really love and there's definitely an energy of fulfillment because you guys are really nurturing yourself and there's kind of an expansion of what you're passionate about and letting people see that especially those of you who want like a really big career or a career you're so passionate about then it's definitely about kind of what is going to help you get towards that career whether it's kind of like practicing the skills or googling some things researching things this will help you get excited about it also some of you guys you've been really nurturing yourself and you've been really doing a really good job at this and we also have the number seven and six and seven so the more kind of love you draw into yourself the more possibly you well at rose quartz and have your heart open more there's definitely energy of like moving forward really really fast so i feel like for you guys your blessings is very much about you kind of calming your mind um, attracting gorgeous relationships in, attracting um, an open heart and opening your heart chakra. And for you guys, because you've been nurturing yourself and you're much more independent now, I feel that there's a much more gigantic ball of romance coming in for you guys. Really, really exciting and much more movement towards new things coming in. And I feel like you have control. We had this little guy holding the flame. So you have much more control over your destiny and what you're be bringing in forward, okay? So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you want to check out my crystal shop, also down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.